What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today's topic is going to be on how to drink alcohol and still get results in the gym. So for the longest time, I think anyway, alcohol held me back a lot from getting great results in the gym. Now that next weekend is going to be the June bank holiday, it's coming into the summer, obviously weather gets nicer, people are more likely to have a drink. A lot of you are probably going away on holidays as well, we are going to drink a lot more. So... I'm not shitting on alcohol here, this video is just kind of designed to give you a heads up around the effects that it's going to have on your gym results. Now, I don't think a lot of people need some random bloke on the internet to tell them about the negative effects of alcohol, but here we go. So the effects of it as it relates to your gym progress, it's going to suppress your muscle protein synthesis, which is the process by which your muscles grow. Everybody knows that it's absolutely going to tank your testosterone levels. That's going to very much inhibit the amount of muscle that you're capable of building and how hard you're capable of training. Anytime you've been on a hefty night out, it destroys your sleep. Not only are you getting less sleep because you're probably getting in the door at 4 or 5 a.m., but the sleep that you're actually getting is highly compromised as well. The quality of that sleep is going to be absolutely atrocious. It blocks your REM sleep heavily. And a lot of people will use the excuse, oh, alcohol actually helps me fall asleep faster. And that's true. It helps you lose consciousness faster, but it's not actually going to help you sleep. So when you're sleeping after a couple of gargles, you're not actually in a state of sleep, you're just sedated. Eventually in the night your sleep will come then, but again you can see the fractured effect that it's having on your sleep. Often when I go on a heavy night out for the next two or three days, all I want to do is lie in bed. The last thing I want to do is try and and when I do try and it's obviously not going to be of a very high intensity that's going to warrant me getting results. Last thing I'd say about alcohol as it relates to your gym progress, it's just empty calories. It's got seven calories per gram. Fats have seven, uh, 9 calories per gram and protein and carbs have 4 calories per gram. Obviously protein, fats and carbs are supplying your body with vital nutrients. Alcohol isn't. A little bit about my story with it. Three years ago, after the lockdowns and stuff ended, nightclubs, pubs, bars opened back up. I started going out pretty much every weekend. Before, I never really went out that much, but once everywhere opened back up, I was out every week. Now, when I'm out, my problem is either go big or go home. I get absolutely shit-faced every time I go out. And in fairness, I fucking loved it for a year or two. But the last 12 months or so, I've become quite fed up with it. I'll often go maybe four weeks of going out more or less every week. And then I won't go out or I won't drink at all for two or three months on end. Just because I'm kind of sick of it, I'll get dragged back into it then and the cycle will repeat. I'll drink for about three or four weeks, probably every weekend, and then just completely give it up. At the minute, I haven't drank in probably two months. When I was going out around a year ago when I came to this realisation, I just wasn't enjoying the nights out as much. I wasn't finding that they were worth the negative effects the next day and thereafter. And it was really affecting my mental state as well. The fact that I couldn't train as hard as I wanted to train or walk as hard as I wanted to walk. I found I was sacrificing a lot of progress in my life for the sake of just going out at the weekend, which I wasn't even enjoying that much. And I quickly realised being smashed in someone's kitchen at 5am is not aligning with my goals whatsoever. Now when I do actually drink i'm i just go mad i'm like the life of the party everybody thinks that i'm on so thankfully i've never actually gone down the path of using drugs what i've heard from people once you go down that path with them when you're out it's very hard to break it so once i start building i become some sort of possessed man so now i've taken matters into my own hands i don't go out much in the first place to begin with i'm definitely not an alcoholic by any means just lately i feel like i'm really kind of escaping the the trap people call it of walking during the week just to, you know, enjoy and, well, destroy your life at the weekend and um, just repeat that cycle. Now, managing alcohol on a night out, I commend you if you can. I personally can't. Once I go out, I'm all out. After three points, I'm shouting to everyone, when you're out, you're out. But there's so many people I know that can have three drinks at a party or night out and just leave it at that. They get a good buzz, they have a good time and they're pretty fresh still the next day. They, they don't make any stupid decisions to go home at a reasonable time. Me, on the other hand, if I have three, I'll have 15. However, I would obviously recommend try to avoid having my mindset around it i just can't seem to break it whenever i am drinking if you want to really limit yourself and the gym is a priority for you and you've got other priorities going on and you don't want the negative effects of alcohol to really weigh you down i'd say set a cap for yourself four or five drinks max no more than once a week as well to really minimize them negative effects you have to just understand the more you do it the more it's going to hold you back am i saying you can't get results if you're drinking absolutely not it's 100% gonna slow you down now be aware your plan that you make for yourself could go out the window you could be a completely different person after a few drinks and you say fuck the gym fuck everything else i'm out so when i came to my little realization around a year ago i often said to myself right i'm gonna have five or six bottles when i go out i'm gonna get to a good level and i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna go home at a respectable time but after i have five or six bottles in me i'm a different man i say fuck it 
and then I absolutely fucking have it. If you're like me and you can't really stick to a limit that you set yourself, I'd suggest cutting back a lot on the nights out. That is, again, if you're serious about seeing gym results. I'm not telling anybody what to do. But the simple fact of the matter is you just will not be progressing as much getting absolutely smashed every weekend. So I hope this opened your eyes. I must have watched about 20 YouTube videos um, when I was trying to cut back a lot, listening to people's stories, how much more energy they have, how much more productive they are in their actual life. I find when you're in that trap of drinking and only drinking, I find especially in Ireland and England the way the culture is, you feel like nothing else is enjoyable. But I promise you, once you go three, four, five weeks without drinking, you start to enjoy the simpler things in life and a lot more things you do find enjoyable then. But I know from experience, when you are pretty much going out and getting blackout drunk every weekend, that's the only thing you really want to do. It's the only thing that seems like fun for a lot of young people as well. I think a lot of people grow out of it um, the older they get. Now, I'm not giving up alcohol forever. Just cutting back a little bit at the minute. Focusing more on my goals because it has to be done. I've realised I'm never going to be going where I want to go if I kept on going out the way I was going out. So again, hope this helps someone out and open up your eyes a little bit. As always, if you like the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.